why don't we talk Megan? Luke, we checked out Megan. Uh, kind of a surprise for us, right? Yes. Very surprised. Yes, I don't think either of us expected that movie to be as good as it was. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, thinking back on it, it's not the all, one of the all-time greats, but it's still a whole lot of fun. I still had a blast watching that in theaters. Uh, I thought it, it really balanced its comedy and its uh, horror really well. Um, again, I think the biggest criticism I could throw at it was that you could easily tell that this was a rated R film at one point. That yeah. Cut down. Um, but... Nonetheless, we walked out of there saying we would see a second one. And uh, it looks like that's going to be happening, but we do have to wait till 2025 because Megan 2.0 was officially announced to be hitting theaters January 17th, 2025. Um, and yeah, it, it's pretty good. We got uh, James Wan back uh, and Allison Williams and Violet McGraw are also back for the sequel. Uh, along with Akila Cooper writing again. So we're getting the whole band back together, it seems like. Uh, we don't know about the director yet, but, uh, you know, I would not be surprised if uh, Ger uh, Gerard Johnstone uh, makes an appearance down the road. Yeah, and I think this was kind of what the entire horror community was expecting and also anticipating after everyone who had seen Megan, just uh, the quality of it and how much fun it was to be like, well, okay, we're probably going to get a sequel out of this where nowadays where everything gets a sequel. And I think for me, uh, this one here is probably the most non-offensive kind of sequel that we could get where it's like, I love the black phone. And then, you know, uh, what, three weeks after that film, we started talking, oh, there, there's an idea for a sequel out there. And it's like, how are you going to pull that one off? But I think like Megan here, um, it is one of those franchises where you can do a handful of films and um, it's not going to tarnish uh, any, any of the films before it because it feels like they can almost be contained stories in a sense. And I know this one, we do have the returning cast, so we're going to kind of get that expansion of the story, which I'm very intrigued about to see how they do go about it. But, you know, using the AI thing, I think this almost creates that um, almost convenience of never really having to... Uh, try to find a way to bring Megan back. You know, it's like never ending. She can always probably show up in some other form if need be before she gets her original form back. Um, so, you know, it makes sense that we're going to get this uh, Megan 2.0 here. And, you know, very intriguing that we're going to get the original screenwriter back as well. So, you know, I really feel like um, Megan knows what it wants to be. And I, like you said, the biggest critique is probably that, you know, everyone wanted that kind of rated R feeling to it. Do I think the next film will be rated R? I think it will be. Um, after kind of already establishing itself in the horror community now, I think it's probably going to, that community is probably going to grow by 2025. So I think maybe we would be seeing uh, rated R Megan in the theater in 2025. I think that's all going to depend on if we get that unrated cut. Uh, personally, I think that would have to do some numbers uh, on VOD for them to really feel encouraged for that, because I think they attribute a lot of this film's success to uh, the broadening of the audience because it became such a big TikTok craze uh, and things for a lot of the younger fans to kind of latch on to. Uh, yeah, there were a ton of people like us in the space who were a bit older and can go and see rated R films that were into it, but we cannot underestimate uh, how big of a trend Megan became uh for the younger viewers so well you know and i feel like you know at that point in time I, uh megan was untested so we didn't really know other than the memes that we were getting uh if you know anyone was going to show up for this i think now after seeing that first one they we can really kind of get uh those younger fans pestering their parents or whoever to kind of get them to to get them to go out to that rated r kind of film because you know halloween never suffered for it's rated R rating. So, and, and they did pretty big numbers. So I think Megan, now that being established uh, in the horror community and, you know, even younger fans being able to see that PG-13 version of it, I think will try and show up for that rated R cut. 100%. Um, and, you know, I think that there will be a lot of people showing up for Megan again. I, I feel like this movie is going to do really well once it hits streaming. Um, and again, I, I really think that an unrated cut or a rated R cut would also be a nice little uh, gimme to, uh, you know, horror fans and everything and really just get us on the right path of just saying, you know, yes, we know uh, in 
for the box office sake, we wanted this to be bigger. We wanted this to reach a broader audience. Like you said, she was untested, but now that they can kind of see where it's going, um, like, just give it to us. Just, I want to see the gore. I want to see it. I want to see what she can do. So we will have to wait until 2025 to see more of Megan. We'll Um, we'll be watching it rated R PG 13. Doesn't matter. We'll be there. Absolutely.